got the edges all sealed off and uh, on everything and then let me uh, you can see the uh, bow hatch up there uh, I coated completely coated the uh, that uh, exterior plywood the fur plywood uh, and everything was going to get I'm going to paint the insides of those containers and or the, those hatches or compartments I'll get it right uh, before I seal them up and I'll put some tape along the edges to keep them from um, sticking or the paint from uh, covering up the uh, spot that I want to uh, uh, epoxy to but um, and I got the uh, back seat done all around uh, but I am um, didn't set it in place like I did these because I want this to cure because I'm going to paint the inside of it also I'm going to primer it I don't know if I'll put in uh, paint inside but uh, I'm going to put on a couple of good coats of primer on it to seal everything off and uh, make it a little more ship shape but down in here I uh, let's see if I can get both of them in. I really had a good seal. I you know I really made certain that the, the f I did these two first so that they would suck up as much epoxy as they could. So then I recoated them and set them aside for a few minutes while I did the uh, transom seat. And then I had some leftover epoxy, so I thought, what the heck? So I went ahead and painted between the lines that we made to seal off any uh, uh, wood that, uh, I'm pretty sure that I had 100% coating on the inside of epoxy on this hull when I built it, because I was doing that at the time. And, uh, but I wanted to put some down there. So I wetted it out, and, there was, and I wetted out the edges of these again, and I went ahead and set them in place and measured them off, and I have them clamped there. So while this epoxy is curing the edges, it'll also kind of temporarily uh, with a week, if I want to pound it out, I should be able to, you know, knock it out with a hammer. But it's uh, measured in and it's square on both sides. So I'll just let them set. That up. Well, I always say well when I start something. <laughs> I need to pick up a new starting word. Uh, starting word. Uh, it's the start of a new segment. And uh, I got uh, these guys have all been sealed off, and same with the uh, and along the edges mainly too, and along on this guy around all the edges it's all cured up. So now I'm going to paint the inside of this. So I did um, while I was painting the edges I thought, why well, don't I just go ahead and temporarily set these in place so I put my clamps and measured it off on my lines. I had already put in, uh, wet it out in case I'd gotten through the old uh, epoxy layer down into uh, new wood so I sealed it off with fresh epoxy and then epoxy the edges really good so I just set it in place and, and it's it's in here tight enough that I come by now with the, uh, the nozzle on the gel magic and do that. But what I'm going to do now is uh, I think I'm going to paint the inside here and then paint the top of the wood and then paint the inside of this and then I think I'm going to put this in place. Let me reset up. I'm going to put this guy in its place, line it up so it's in here and then I'm going to take a pencil and go along the edge and then pull it away and then put some masking tape along on the outside, the side that I'm going to fill it, cover that up, and then go ahead and paint the interior parts and get that painted. And then paint it, uh, probably just a primer, a couple good coats of primer, as opposed to putting on the uh, finish paint. So just something to give it a little more protection. I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. Have the uh, transom seat in place and I've got a uh, an old UPC battery up here. Find that's a <laughs> save those old things. They make good paperweights. And then I sharpened up. I had a bunch of these things. I don't know why I've been using just regular pencils. So, 
now I have a good line. I don't know if you see that right. It's probably a little sharper. Maybe a line here. Can you see it? Yeah. Let me get some tape and we'll tape that off. Let me do a little bit of this line right here. Go ahead. Then that'll be exact. It can be probably a little bit inside the line because the plywood is going to cover up. All that, that gives me a line that I can paint up to so when I pull the tape off I'll have clean wood underneath to put the gel magic on and the fillet. We'll come back. Have the uh, second coat that's two coats of primer now on this and then on the inside of this I've got two coats. I ran out of primer but uh, I was able to give up in here on the bow uh, seat Inside here has got two coats now, and then I was able to give one coat on each of these guys, and then on the on the bow seat I was able to give it two coats. And you'll notice I've got strip tape on here because they need to um, um, get it pure so I can put epoxy between that face and this face. And uh, let me go ahead. I wasn't going to. Um, I wasn't going to, uh, thought I wasn't going to paint the interior of these things uh, uh, white, but I've got some leftover can of white paint, uh, white enamel that I was using on um, what the interior of, what the hell did I use that on? The interior of the nymph? Yeah, I think I used that on the interior of the nymph. It's a pretty good uh, paint. So I'm going to go ahead and paint those out, the, the bottoms of the lids and then. Um, the inside of the compartments and then we'll come back and then with the uh, put a mixing tip on a tube of gel magic and we'll go around and 100% all the things that are ready for it. These uh, panels that I've got just tentatively setting in here with the wet epoxy on them, I'm going to finish those up. So um, we'll come back. Primer's dry, then I went ahead and put um, a couple coats of um, actual uh, paint on top of it and I've been pulling off the tape to get down to my crisp lines. I'm going to probably save that and then now I've got this is painted with primer and I also painted the inside of it. So let's dig it back on its position and now I'm inside my lines. go ahead and put the uh, gel magic around the jump stitch. Let me do the same thing up at the front. I had the seat I had done and I take these guys down so I can have a clean edge up in here. Over, uh, put some gel magic on these things. And the same thing with the bottom side in here. I forgot to do it in here, but that's okay. It's mainly going to be supported, and I'm pretty sure the gel magic will go through it, but I wanted the, this to be clear when I put down on that one. So I'm going to go ahead and get a uh, setup for the uh, gel magic. Start getting it up the tube. You can see how the colors are starting to change. It's almost clear now. So we'll put a little S curve up in here, a little snaky bead along in here. Get a good kind of hole have to be 
so kind of uh, I'll put a straight edge along this plywood edge. And then take your pressure off so you're not dripping anywhere. And then I've got my little scrapey bobber here. start in here and as long as you, as you push it along as you're going you'll jam it down into the, the crack get a good get a good gob going down into the hole You can either do this as a series of little jump stitches or like I'm doing now is a 100%. It's got a little bit of epoxy along here. So it's tip is just gliding right along. Let's do the other side. <laughs> See how quick this goes. And like I said, the uh, the epoxy that's already there is just gliding. Tip. So it's just floating along. Now we have it. All of this, the jump stitching done, and I went 100% instead of just stitching uh, on all the panels. So now the next thing we'll come back and do is do the fillets. And then I'll be able to, uh, once I get the fillets in, then I'll be able to paint out the inside of the tanks and then go ahead and attach the uh, seat tops in here. And uh, pretty much that's basically it on uh, redoing the interior. Well, the glass, we got some glass taping to do around the, uh, the seams on the seat and then this section up in here so actually the uh, let me backtrack a little bit the glass taping will come next because then I want the ends to come up um, the ends of the glass tape up against the hull and then I'll cover those with uh, the fillet material and then to hide those on the ends under fillet material so we'll be back I this should be enough for this episode so I'll see you next time <laughs>